Hello and welcome back. Our topic for today is long division. When we divide things, it means that we share items equally. But what happens when the numbers are too big to just do it out of our heads? Now that will be what we will be investigating today. Let's just do a quick mental checkup to see if you know the easy way of dividing with multiples of 10. So before, when we multiplied, we added zeros. But when we divide, we take away zeros. Look at the division symbol as a sort of scale. For every zero that you take away on the one side, you have to take one on the other side. Look at our first example, 600 divided by 10. 10 has a 0 and 600 has 2. So let's take one 0 away at each side. We can't take any more zeros away because 10 has no more zeros left to take. But now it is easy. We are left with 60 divided by 1 and that will give me 60. Next one, 120 divided by 30. Let's cancel out a zero on each side. What we are left with is 12 divided by 3. So 12 divided by 3 gives me 4. Last one, 5,600 divided by 80. First, we take away as many zeros as we can on both sides. One from 80 and one from 5,600. But still, 560 is too much to divide by 8. So, I divide the 56 by 8 first and that gives me 7. And we take the leftover zero and Add it to our answer. Okay, back to long division. Here we have a typical problem that we spoke about before. A large number and it would take ages to count in threes all the way to 963. So we use the long division method. First we have to set up our calculation. Draw a little house like this with a roof and a door. Put the large number inside the house and the smaller number at the door. Doing long division is a little bit like doing a dance. For as long as the tune goes, you keep repeating the same four moves. So move one is to divide. It's not called long division for nothing. The number at the door wants to know how many times it can go into the house. But it is polite to knock first before entering, right? So how many times must three knock before nine lets him in? Ask yourself, how many times does three go into nine? Count in threes. Three six, nine, three times. Keep dancing because the music is not finished yet. We've only done our first move. Division move, tick. Next step is to multiply from the roof to the door. Three times three is nine. Keep swinging those hips from the roof to the floor. Write it under the nine. Multiplication, tick. Keep on dancing because our next step is to subtract. Nine minus nine is zero. When we write a zero, we make a little dot. Subtraction, tick. We have danced all the moves we can with nine. Now three wants to dance with 
six. Six has to come out of the house to dance and it steps all the way to the dot. Now we dance our same moves again, just this time with six. How many knocks to dance with six? How many times does three go into six? Two knocks. Write those knocks on the roof above the six. Divided, tick. Let's do our multiplication step. From the roof to the door is two times three is six. From the door to the floor. Now shake it up for subtraction because six minus six is zero. Time to rumba with the last number in the house and three steps out. So our number shuffles up next to the three to rub some shoulders. Ooh, they like each other. But how many knocks to dance? Three goes into three once and to the roof with you. Roll those arms together for the multiplication step. One times three is Three, shake it from the door to the floor. Our song is almost done, but we have one step left. Subtraction. Three minus three is zero. Any more numbers in the house that we have not danced with? No one left to come out? We've danced with nine, we've danced with six, we've danced with three. That means we have completed our long division dance with smooth moves. If you want to be an awesome division dervish, start with writing the sum in a little house. Then, Divide first by counting the knocks on the door. Multiply from the door to the floor. Subtract and bring out the next number for a dance. Keep dancing until there are no more numbers left in the house. All good dancers will tell you to practice. So what is in our goodie bag today? Mental maths and a memo to check your work. Homework and a memo. And don't forget to watch the video on factors by Let's Do Maths. Remember, you can watch this video as many times as you want. And you can pause every time you don't understand a step. But most importantly of all, stay awesome.